What's up guys? Good to see you again. All right, so I got a big box of goodies here that I purchased from k and Camera off Amazon. Uh, basically, it's a camera package. I got the Sony ZV-E10. So let's go ahead and unbox the camera first and I'll show you what else is in the box. So, of course, the ZV-E10 is one of the newest cameras from Sony's lineup. This follows the A6000 series. But uh, as you can see here, they completely changed the naming here. So essentially, this is the successor to the ZV-1. But it does feature uh, an external lens. So you can pop in different lenses from your full-bodied A7s. And you can even use the same lenses from the A6000 series as well. All universal. So this does come with a slew of packaging information, warranty information, registration guides, and things like that, as usual. And let's go ahead and get into the camera there. So one thing that's funny about this camera is it comes fully assembled. So the camera comes with the lens already pre-installed. There's uh, nothing else protecting the, uh, the screen here, which is fully articulating, as you can see here. Very cool. One of the uh, new additions here. And this also is more beneficial than the A6000 series, which just has a flip up screen. So fully articulating screen and a nice microphone mesh here up on top. Uh, this also does come with a few other things as well. Uh, this is what's called a dead cat. Kind of a funny name, but looks kind of like a little cat's paw. It goes right over here on the hot shoe and covers up that mic and it will cover up any wind noise and get you really, really good audio. The audio from this built-in mic is really good as it is, so it's going to be a nice welcome feature there. All right, and some of the other accessories you get here. So you get the uh, the same battery on the A6000 series. The uh, it's the A6600 that does have the bigger battery, but this uses the same NPFW50 uh, battery that's in the rest of the A6000 series. As per usual, there's a little door here on the bottom. Battery slides in just like so, just like that. And then you do have your SD card slot right there. And the good thing about this is that it's off to the side, so it's really not gonna get in the way of your tripod. You can have it mounted and still access your battery and your SD card to swap them out as you need. As usual, camera strap, nice Sony branding there. And it does have a USB-C cable, which is an upgrade over the A6000 series that still uses micro USB. Surprisingly, you do get a power brick for the USB to charge your camera. A lot of devices are starting to go away with those. And that's everything in the box. All right, so one of the things that came in this bundle, nice camera bag. So this is a Vivitar camera bag. It's a pretty small size, but more than enough to fit your camera, extra lens, maybe even two lenses depending on the size, extra batteries, extra uh, storage material. So you do get the strap here, so you can go ahead and move that around as needed. As you can see here, the camera fits horizontally, so you have quite a bit of space here to play with. All that, um, it's probably about 30% that the camera is going to use up. The rest of it can be used for all your other accessories. You do get two side pockets that are zippered. Nice little mesh pocket here for quick storage. And then you get another mesh pocket in the back for more quick storage as well. All right, inside the bundle, you also do get a Striker 12 inch flexible tripod. Nice black and red styling here, very cool. And there it is. So pretty standard stuff, tripod, and it is kind of like a gorilla pod where these can actually be rotated to grip, say, a tree branch or something like that. Nice compact design. You could even use this to do any, any handhelds as you're walking. And the really cool thing about this too, so there's a built-in level. Uh, you can tighten this to lock in that plate. And this plate, once you push it, actually slides right off. So you can have this permanently mounted to your camera and then pop it in as needed for the tripod. Again, you tighten this 
to lock the camera in place so that doesn't come out. Uh, there is a ball joint up on top, as you can see here, completely loosenable. You can do it at a 90 degree angle. Once you get the angle down, tighten it up and it locks in place. Also in the box, Transcend 64 gigabyte UHS-1 SD card. Uh, this is a read speed of up to 95 megabits per second. All right, and last but certainly not least, Vivitar Clean Kit. This is the Deluxe Photo Kit. Just going to open this guy up and see what we're dealing with. All right, typical dust blower here. Get some cotton swabs. You get your very, very small tripod. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, lens, lens cap keeper. So basically it's got some 3M tape uh, that's double-sided and you would stick it right on your lens cap. So as you take the lens cap off, it just dangles, say on your neck or whatever you want to attach it to. You do get some lens cleaner solution. It's uh, alcohol free. And this is your typical lens cleaner pen. Some very nice soft bristles on that side. And then you get a little cleaner here. All right, so inside the smaller bag, you do get the SD card holder. So this holds six cards here. Actually not sure how to open this. Oh, so it's, it's uh, individual, which is really cool. And you just sit your SD card right in there. Very handy. Nice Vivitar cleaning cloth. You do get a, a squeegee. Uh, three screen protectors. Gonna get, definitely use this on the back LCD screen. And then you get 50 sheet lens tissue for cleaning your lenses here. Very cool. All right, so that was my unboxing. As you can see here, here is the camera itself. So I do have the battery in there. Let's go and see if there's a charge in it. There it is. So as you can see here, the lens is actually electronic. And then it does have the zoom ring, which kind of mimics a manual lens. And this does feature the new menu system. So you do have the My Menu setting, so you can literally add a whole lot of different functionality here. I believe this is taken right out of the A6400 and A6600, if I'm not mistaken. So this no longer features a manual selection knob. It basically has stills, video, and SNQ, which is slow and quick. So you push this and you look at the upper left-hand corner. So that's video mode. There's SNQ mode and then stills mode. You still get all your functionality. So hit function, you change the shoot mode and things like that. I have no SD card in here right now. So that's why it's doing that. On off switches here instead of here. Up here is actually the uh, electronic zoom. And because this camera is pushed more towards the video crowd, you get a nice recording button here. A6000, there was a really, really tiny button here on the corner. So much more focus on video on that uh, spectrum. Of course, you do get your autofocus and shutter button right here on the uh, front right of the camera, which is pretty typical. And then you do get your product showcase button here, which focuses on the products and not necessarily on the face. And then back again, once you remove that product from the view. And then you do have the uh, background blur here. Of course, that's automatic. Most people that are pro users, they will automatically know how to change the aperture and things like that to get the same effect. Get your hot shoe up here on the upper left. So along with the missing manual selection mode, you also do have a missing viewfinder on this camera. Of course, since it's more geared towards video users, not really a common thing to use. Very, very cool, fully articulating screen. One of the highlights of this camera. And then the back of this camera is more or less identical to the A6000 series. Overall, very nice camera, compact, pretty lightweight, still substantial, especially with this all metal lens here. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to start shooting with this, grabbing some new footage, also working on my sales photography. I recently just got a new job and I started doing photography as well for the products. So this is definitely going to be, have some use here. So all your connection ports are on the left side here. So you do have a microphone jack, USB-C, HDMI, and then you also get a headphone jack for monitoring your audio in real time. Very cool. Pretty basic plastic construction and you do get some rubber here on the grip, which is very nice. Pretty small, but substantial enough to be able to use it, no problem at all. Nice, comfortable grip in general. All right, guys, so that was my unboxing of the Sony ZV-E10 bundle that I purchased. And if you're interested in picking up the ZV-E10, please see my affiliate link in the description below. 
Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.